There are basically three components to the insulin needs of someone with type 1 diabetes. The first is the basal or background insulin and that's the insulin that's needed between meals to keep you alive. Secondly, there's the bolus or mealtime insulin and that's the insulin that's needed to cover carbohydrates eaten. And thirdly, there's correction insulin. And correction insulin is insulin that you give, extra insulin that you give, when blood glucose levels are high. And that's at predetermined times. And usually they're discussed with your diabetes educator or endocrinologist. If you're on an insulin pump, then correction insulin may be used more often. The way we calculate insulin needs is by a person's weight. We use the calculation of 0.5 to 0.8 units of insulin per kilogram of body weight. So for example, a person who weighs 50 kilos, we would multiply that by 0.5 and get 25 units. Then we would multiply that 50 kilos by 0.8 and get 40 units. So that means that someone who weighs 50 kilos, their total insulin needs may be anywhere between 25 and 40 units of insulin for the day, for the 24 hours. And then we would use half of the insulin to go to your basal insulin and half of the insulin to go to your bolus insulin um, divided throughout the day with your carbohydrate meals. Your basal insulin is the insulin that you use. It's called Lantus or Levomere. It's for people who are on injections, it's long acting insulin. Some people may still be using intermediate insulin, which is the older type of long acting insulin. It doesn't last as long as the newer insulins. The bolus insulin, we have a calculation for that too. So um, it's called an insulin to carbohydrate ratio. So to work out the insulin to carbohydrate ratio would be a little bit of trial and error but uh, it goes according to how much insulin would cover a certain amount of carbohydrates. So for example, one person may be on one unit of insulin for 15 grams of carbohydrates at breakfast, but at lunchtime they may be on one unit of insulin for 20 grams of carbohydrates. So at breakfast time, if they were on a one unit of insulin for 15 grams of carbohydrates, and had a total of 45 grams of carbohydrate, that would be three units of insulin for that.